ESP01 is is a great option for entry level IoT based projects not only because it is easily available on many online stores under 250 rupees but we can program it using Arduino IDE and development board without any extra hardware As we use PWM and transistors to control the power in case of DC, it is common to use phase triggering and triax to control the power delivery in AC. We will choose BT136 triac which can handle up to 4 ampere of RMS current. Now to control the triac using 3.3 volt DC because ESP01 is runs on 3.3 volt, we need an optocoupler device such as this MOC3021. Let's have a quick look on what is this phase control and how to implement it using microcontroller. A full cycle of AC starts at 0 degree and ends at 360 degree. For 100% power delivery, the triax would be turned on for the full cycle. But to reduce power, the triax would be on for a portion of the cycle. For example, in this case, on the 50% of the full power would be allowed to pass to the load. Now the tracks are turned off automatically at the zero crossings and remains off until it receives another gate pulse. We get 50 Hz AC in our household, that is, the time period is 20 millisecond or the gap between two consecutive zero crossings is 10 millisecond. So we will tell the microcontroller to sense the zero crossing and wait for a time between 0 to 10 millisecond according to the power we required and then fire the triac. For zero crossing detection we will use the DB107 full bridge rectifier and PC817 optocoupler. And to power up the whole thing from the same AC source, we have this small 220 volt to 12 volt 500 milliampere transformer along with a full bridge rectifier and LM317 voltage regulator IC. So I soldered everything on a board and plugged in the heart of this project ESP01S. With that being done, we are ready with the hardware. In the next step, I set up Adafruit MQTT broker to communicate with the ESP01S module via internet. and copy down the AIO key. After installing the ESP8266 board manager and Adafruit MQTT library and putting all the credentials required to connect with the Wi-Fi and the MQTT server, I uploaded the code. Here I am not discussing in details how to program ESP01S using Arduino. After connecting the wires, as I turned on the AC main supply, the green LED started blinking, which indicates it is trying to connect with the Wi-Fi. Now it's glowing steadily, which means our device is now connected to the MQTT server. After logging into the io.adafruit.com and going to the ESP01S dashboard, which I created during setup. If I change the slider, you can notice that in the intensity of the blue LED is changing. That means it is working. I have connected a fan in the load.
I can regulate the fan speed from zero to the full speed by changing the slider. Now I am testing with the 60 watt light bulb. While I was testing I noticed one glitch of the system. Sometimes it drops the data. To have an indication I have published the data it receives to the same slider as a feedback. So if it fails to read the data the slider will move back to its previous value. Leaving that issue it is working as expected. So that's it for this video, hope you enjoyed this video, if so please don't forget to like, share and subscribe, I will meet you in the next video.